humans of the internet. Thank you so much for joining me today and hanging out with me wherever you may be. I just wanted to share a bit of an eclectic collective thrift haul from the past two months of things that I have found online, things that have been given to me, stuff I found on the streets of New York that I just thought were cool. So let's just get into it. I've been playing dress up quite a bit and experimenting with my style a little bit and I cannot tell you what my style is, but it's fun. It keeps things interesting. Every single day I feel like I'm dressing as a different alter ego or version of myself. This is a realization par dress, which you might have seen in one of my videos, but this just reminds me of something that like a Chinese priestess would wear. It has little dragons all throughout the fabric. I love this yellow, but it's just so light and silky and dreamy. I'm pretty sure this is 100% silk. I got this in an X small and it's an interesting fit. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's not the most flattering. The waist is very loose, so I want to find a little chain belt to wear around the waist to cinch it in. It's something out of my dreams. The next dress is also in that same dreamy, silky, energy and it's this cowl neck cream dress that my sister gave to me. I like things to be short because I feel like it balances out my curves and makes me look longer when I have things that are shorter on me if that makes sense and just helps me feel a little bit more confident as a curvy woman. But yeah, I love this style of dress so much. I love the little cowl neck. They've been very in and wearing this with a very simple gold hoops, white little kitten heels, and maybe a little scarf in the hair, and a cute little bag. It's just very flirty and feminine. Oh, I love it. It's the type of feminine energy that isn't super in your face. It's just very classy and European, if I might say that. The next dress I got from Poshmark, which I never really shop at for some reason. I never really got into Poshmark. I was so worried it wasn't going to fit because it's an XX small, but it does fit. And I also like getting tighter things sometimes because it helps to hold my boobs in. So if I don't want to wear a bra with this, I would be more inclined to do that because it is so tight that it's like holding them up with enough support, if that makes sense. So these are my little like life hacks for my body that I've learned to do is sometimes I get things a little bit smaller, but it has this beautiful like ruffling at the bottom. Yeah, I really dig this and it definitely makes me feel a bit like an IG baddie, that whole like world of style. I'm so excited to have kind of like a thoughty summer dress. The next piece is the second IMG piece that I've ever owned, also from Poshmark from a different seller. And these just remind me of Devin Aoki from Fast and Furious. They're so sexy and badass, and I love that they're high-waisted, just makes them a lot more flattering and a lot more wearable with the pieces I already have in my closet, which is really important to me because a lot of times when I shop secondhand, I just buy really unique pieces, but Lately, the past year really, I've been making sure to buy pieces that I'll actually wear and then I have pieces I can already style with them. Um, so I'm not wasting my money. I love the pockets on the side and I love that there's no pockets on the butt. So the butt just looks like so clean and so like smackable. And I did hem these up. If you saw my last sewing video, it's unlisted because I didn't love the coloring in that video for some reason, but I'll link it down below if you want to see that. Um, I just hemmed up the bottom and tailored them to my length and my height, so now they fit perfectly. Definitely gives me the queer energy that I want to put out in the world. Not to stereotype because you can't ever really assume anyone's preference just from their clothing, but I do like to try and emulate a certain energy with my style, or at least do that more. I want to do that more because a lot of times I feel like it's just hard to tell. And I did not know this was a thing, but I downloaded TikTok and there's so many like queer TikToks about how when a girl is complimenting your style, she's like kind of questioning if you are queer. I really like your style. So do you like, do you like girls? And I've had so many cute girls tell me that they liked my style in New York and I'm just like, oh thanks. And I just walk away. Were they hitting on me? Could I have? But the next piece that I got are a beautiful pair of high-waisted checkered pants and these I got from an Instagram shop. I've noticed so many more Instagram shops popping up where people will just sell secondhand and vintage clothing on their stories and 
I really love them so much. I always feel like I miss when people are selling things and I'll watch five hours later when everything is already sold out, but I'm really glad that I picked these up. These are by Liz Claiborne and they're just this nice blue checkered pattern. They're tight and fit really nicely around my waist and my butt, but then the actual pant leg is loose, which makes them really comfortable. I love wearing them rolled up and I, I don't know why, I just feel like Mac Miller when I, not Mac Miller, RIP. I feel like Mac DeMarco when I wear these because he's just the OG at wearing pants that are oversized with socks underneath and tennis shoes where I just want to use a shoelace as a belt and have some white ankle socks and just skateboard while wearing these. I'm just excited to wear them with my cute little white summer tops and even just with a lace bralette and I love a comfortable pant. Moving on, I got this really cute crochet cardigan thing from a clothing swap here in New York. It has a bunch of flowers all along it which I adore. I'm really excited just to wear this with a bikini. It's just very sweet little cottage grandma energy. Retro with a white bikini underneath and some big gold hoops. I got this matching bralette and underwear set from Goodwill randomly when I was visiting my family and and I love the color of this. This is so flattering, this cheeky cut for any booty. I just feel like it's so, makes your butt look so plump and it fits this top so perfectly. I mean, they are a set, but I just love the way that this looks. It's very early 2000s. If you've seen that movie, The Hot Chick, that's what it is. Yeah, it totally reminds me of something that the main girl would wear in that movie and I'm just laughing because it's so ridiculous and that dumb kind of funny that's almost comforting at times. I, in the next place that I live, really wanna have a piece of twine hanging on my wall and just have my favorite lacy slash lingerie pieces hanging on it. It's kind of like this. This next piece, my friend Nia gave to me. They have have this really simple and delicate embroidery all around it these little cactuses and they make my butt look like a bakery that cake it just is on a whole other level when I wear these I want to style this once again just with a white or cream bikini top a little bandana yeah I just think these are really fun and something different to experiment with and style in a similar color I have just this button-down collared shirt which I got for two dollars in my neighborhood once again right before all the shops closed down around me but it's by the brand Talbots. This is an essential piece for anyone's closet just a nice button down. You can literally wear this over anything and also just wear it on its own and it gives you more of an edgy look maybe a little bit more of an art ho type look you know you could put some paintbrushes in here and I just love this neutral color because it makes it so much easier to throw over anything. Next, for another colorful piece, I got this on Poshmark and it's just this lime green skirt, midi skirt. This I love wearing with this shirt and this bandana. It's just a perfect match and if you follow me on Instagram, at Yanomi underscore Hitsomi, you might have seen me. Um, already wearing this outfit in this photo here. So far this haul has had a lot of color and I'm really happy about that. The next piece is also really colorful. This I got from ThreadUp and I love the purple. It's a really nice matte purple almost and this is by the brand I think American Apparel. Nice little shorts and a halter top. I wanted to wear this at Pride, so maybe I'll just wear it in my room and FaceTime my queer friends. The next piece was this cowl neck dress that I turned into a top and it has these bedazzled little straps on it and it's a cute, but I think this would be especially nice with a long silky black skirt. I think that would make it look a lot more elegant and dressy, but I do think I can wear this more casually as well. So I got some pieces from this store called LACA USA, which is an ethical clothing brand. This first top is just really flowy and light and also gives me that simple, classy European vibe. I love the little collar on it. Unfortunately, one of my faults is that I loathe ironing things. I just think this is kind of the short sleeve version of this long sleeve top that I have and it's just another great staple. These wide leg, high-waisted cream pants, it's 
giving me some 70s vibes. Neutral that's so versatile and also so flattering to the bum. They fit everywhere except for my waist. They're a little bit loose. This t-shirt that I'm wearing is also from that same brand and this is definitely my favorite piece that I got from them because it's so thin and stretchy and has that much sought after worn in feel that you want from a vintage t-shirt. These are some clogs that I got a while ago. I don't think that I ever shared them but I think that they're so sweet. They have these painted little ducks on them and I love the colors. These were made in Sweden. They are just the tiniest bit too small, which is so sad. One of my subscribers stopped me in the middle of Washington Square Park and was like, I love your videos, you need to get clogs. Clogs are the most comfortable shoe. And I was like, really, clogs? I guess I've been sleeping on clogs. Like I forgot that those existed and I haven't really thought about them for a while and so I went online and I got these clogs from Depop and they just gave me pain so I think I just need to find the right pair but I really want to and I think these would be so fun to style you guys I found these two skateboarding decks on the streets of New York when quarantine first started they were in a brown paper bag like wrapped up last thing i remember i was running out of time stuck in a sweet state of nostalgia when i was yours and you were mine the messy heads and if any of you follow the messy heads back in the day then you might even recognize these skateboards but i actually went to cuba with emma and cybelle and this literally kind of reminds me of the beaches there but it's so funny because I hadn't talked to them in a really long time and the day after I found these two skateboarding decks, Cybelle messaged me saying she was thinking of me and I was like, oh my god, that's so crazy because I just found your old skateboards. I'm going to buy some trucks and some grip tape and make a nice board for myself. And I have two, so I'm actually, I already told my friend that I would give him this second one so we could match, but I'm really excited to skateboard again. I used to skateboard when I was younger and I can't do anything fancy but it's just a really fun thing to do in the summertime to feel like the wind in your hair and just be skating on through and I love the sound of skateboards on the pavement so that's gonna be really fun. Also if you have any old skateboarding decks that you're not using and that you know that you're not going to use something that's really cool that I saw on Tumblr is if you have a bathtub, you can just rest it on either side of your bathtub like so and put little strawberries, a little glass of wine, your iPad, whatever it is, and use this as a bathtub tray. Very aesthetic. Also, I love this color. I think I'm really into this sea foam like green and blue tones right now. Matches the shirt. I'm just vibing with that. Okay. Actually, the last thing that I forgot to mention is another piece that I got from Depop that actually broke. I got this as a piece to cinch in any loose dresses that I have. Even wearing this over a blazer with an outfit would be really cool, and I just thought it was really fun. It just reminds me of Sailor Moon for some reason. But yes, that is everything that I have collected the past two months. I'm really excited to style these pieces and just get so much wear out of them and give them so much new life. Um, thank you so much for watching and for receiving my energy today. I hope that you can continue to put good quality pieces in your closet that you'll wear over and over again and um, make use and recycle any pieces that you're not wearing anymore. There are so many websites out there to shop secondhand, Depop, ThreadUp, Poshmark, um, The Real Real, those are definitely my go-tos if you can tell from this video. And I even like eBay. I'll just keep sharing other ethical and sustainable brands that I do shop from firsthand as I find them. I really like to practice mindfulness in my wardrobe and just shop <laughs> consciously if that's you know a thing conscious consumerism because it seems like it's not something that we can avoid but i do think that our dollar is our vote and even in the past like four years the fact that ethical and sustainable fashion has become so much more mainstream and people are demanding to know where their garments are being made and where they're coming from is such a beautiful beautiful thing and i think that's all just a result of social media and of people refusing to buy things that that don't align with their 
values. Fast fashion is an incredibly wasteful industry. It's very harmful to the environment, the chemicals that is often used to dye clothing and the waste, the fabric waste, even just the landfills that are filled with clothing that people are no longer wearing. Because so many fast fashion stores are bringing in entirely new lines every two weeks, there's just so much excess clothing that's not being used. It ends up in a landfill. The synthetic fabrics turn into microplastics that the fish eat and just polluting our oceans. And of course, there's just the human rights that are being threatened, mostly women and children who are vulnerable in these positions in the garment industry. And I'm really grateful for just how mainstream thrifting has become. And I am grateful to share these kinds of videos. So thank you for listening and for hearing me. I cherish you and I'll see you in a video soon, I hope. Bye. Have a beautiful day on purpose. <laughs> Bye.